Hello, my name is Tridar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a small Roman temple in Minecraft. Let's get started. So firstly, let's take a look at our Roman temple here. Of course, it is going to be the smallest Roman temple I think you can build with any degree of detail. Got four columns at the front and six along the side. Of course, the, the same at the back here. And it's enclosed in some walls and set on a good sized Roman podium with a few fire pots here at the front, although you can replace those with campfires if you so desire. But we, of course, have the, the Roman Corinthian order here and a pointy pediment and some sculptures here at the top for decoration. Not too bad, I have to say. I think that this would be an excellent uh, starter sized Roman temple for you to construct in your world. Say, uh, if you just have a, maybe a little base somewhere far away that you don't go to all that often, but there's a nice spot in the landscape, you might want to place a little temple on top of it. And uh, you can use it for a uh, small satellite base somewhere, perhaps a starter base. There is a nice sized uh, cella inside here for you to take up residence in. As you can see, you've got a little bed, crafting table, and a chest here for you to use. Not too bad, all the essentials that you would need in a Minecraft base, I think. So, uh, with this, what you see is what you get. So let us take a look at the bill of materials you are going to need to construct your small Roman temple here. It's not too bad. You are going to need 668 blocks of diorite, 2,480 blocks of cobble, 265 stone bricks, 13 spruce planks, mostly for the door, 106 cobblestone slabs, 180 blocks of red nether brick, and 114 deep slate tile slabs. These are for your roof. If you do have extra materials, you can possibly upgrade this to copper if you so choose. 42 stone brick slabs, some torches, just enough to prevent spawns, however many you need. Uh, two blocks of nether rack or campfires in the front there for the braziers. You can decide which one you like best. 110 cobblestone stairs, 284 stone brick stairs, and one spruce door. So all, all told, not too bad on the materials list. The dimensions for this building are as follows. It is 15 blocks wide across this way, 29 blocks long back that way, and of course 24 Blocks tall from the bottom stair all the way up to the point up there. A good sized building, I think. So, the first thing you will want to do is uh, construct a big rectangle out of uh, cobble, 15 by 29. And in the middle here, we are going to have some cobblestone stairs. We're going to have what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Nine cobblestone stairs across the front with uh, three blocks of cobble at the front here. And once you have done that, we will go on to the next phase. So the tutorial is laid out in the following way. I have uh, constructed the entire building, uh, but I have sliced it up into individual phases to show you all the blocks that you need to place, except uh, already placed. So as we go, if you need to, just uh, pause and replicate the block patterns that you will be seeing. So here for the podium, uh, all good Roman temples, by the way, they're built on podiums. This is what makes this the Roman temple and not a Greek one. By the way, uh, you will note uh, there are stairs at the front and it's on a podium. They're not stairs all the way around the building. Greek temples have that. It's also in the Corinthian order. Uh, some small Greek things here and there use Corinthian on the exterior, but it was mostly an interior column. But the Romans used it absolutely everywhere, so that's another key feature that makes this a Roman temple and not a Greek one. So now what you want to do, we're going up one more block here, as you can see. So if you want to, you can fill in all your base back here with cobble, or to save some materials, you could uh, possibly leave this space hollow back here and fill it in with dirt or something, perhaps. It's only the exterior blocks here made out of the diorite that you need to place. And of course, except for your stairs, you want to go around and place a ring of a diorite all the way around the rectangle, like you see done here. And for the next phase, we're now going up uh, in two block increments. So each phase you will see from now on will be two blocks taller than the previous slice. 
So here we have, of course, a band of diorite and then a band of cobble. Like you see here, you want to place this all the way around the podium for your temple right here. Uh, but in the front here, we want to have a block of space. Here, after we have gone up two stairs, we want to have a block of space. And then we want to go up two more flights of stairs, like you see done here. So that we will have uh, three blocks on either side here. Uh, now, uh, this building is symmetrical around the center line, which means that if we draw a, a red line here in the middle, and what we build on this side of the temple, we want to be mirroring that on the other side of the center line exactly like that. You see, they're just mirror images of each other. So if we extend our center line back here in the middle, it would be right there for what? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. We then want to place a checkerboard pattern like this of cobble and diorite. So I'll let you just look at that there. And you want to replicate that. This is going to be the inner floor of your temple, by the way. If you want to, you can, you can just leave this straight cobble or perhaps uh, use some nicer materials in here if you want to, perhaps some quartz and lapis if you want to uh, up, upgrade some of the materials that I have listed for you. Uh, but I'm showing this with just the cheap materials to start with. Uh, let's go up two more blocks to the next phase. So these little braziers here, for these you are just placing uh, stone brick stairs right there and then uh, flip them over and make this pattern here. Place your block of um, nether rack there, and then you can go ahead and light it if you want to right there. So there's also a couple of uh, cobblestone slabs on top of that, and that completes these very simple braziers that are sitting on either side of the stairs of your temple. Now back here, we want to place the column bases uh, for our temple, and uh, they are done in the following way. We just place down a uh, cross of five blocks of cobble, and then on top of that, we place these uh, cobblestone stairs facing each other. And then on top of this, if you want to, you can go ahead and place uh, uh, six blocks of diorite, like you see done there, for, for our columns right there. Over here, now for the building, uh, we have attached columns. And of course, uh, when pillars are attached to buildings, they're called pilasters. So we have several of those on this building here. It's a good, uh, good tried and true Roman technique. Um, uh, here, of course, we have our doorway and a couple of blocks of spruce there and a bigger door frame of diorite on the sides there. Uh, and on the outside here, of course, the inter the intercolumnation distance for this temple is only going to be one block because it's very small. We have just one block there, one block there, one block there, and so on and so forth. Of course, intercolumnation is the distance columns are spaced apart from each other, which is it's it's actually um, technically it's technically three blocks for this temple, but uh, down at the bases right here, it's only one. So you want to place those around here. You, we have uh, one extra block left over at the back, back there, by the way, for that. So let me just show you this from the top down at a glance. So you can see what we're doing here with the, the floor plan and everything. Behind that, you just want to make a big rectangle of, um, uh, I think, uh, stone bricks should be in most places, uh, like you see done here. And of course, uh, that should fit neatly over the uh, flooring that we put in in the last phase here with just uh, the um, um, block pattern that we have right there. Just a basic Roman checkerboard pattern, nothing too uh, out of the ordinary. So uh, we've already done our braziers, like I said. So you can go ahead and extend up your columns to six blocks of diorite, like you see here, or all these along the front. And of course, for all the pilasters as well, you want to be doing the same with the diorite, and behind that you can see that we are alternating layers of stone bricks and cobble. At the bottom layer down here, we had two layers of stone bricks, but now we have a layer of cobble, and then we have two, and then we're going to have a layer of stone bricks on top of this. And as we're going, I'm just using the red wool here as a pointing device to point out what I'm looking at uh, more directly for you. And of course, so we have the attached. Plaster is back here at the back and along the side here. And on the inside as well, we have the same deal. 
Uh, once you build one of these little columns, they are all going to be exactly the same throughout the building. It's only going to be uh, back here at the back. We have uh, we have a little arch at the back way. I mean, we have a little archway at the back here uh, in the temple as well, and uh, the doorway here on the other side. All right. So let's uh, go on to the next phase here. So our doorway, we're going to be putting a, a little, a very, a very small triangular pediment over the top of that, and we're going to be doing that with some stairs. So we finished the doorway here with this lintel made out of diorite. We've used all our spruce right there. For that, uh, you can see we're extending our columns up like I talked about. On the sides here, we are alternating the cobble and the stone bricks, like you see being done here on all the sides there. On the inside, of course, it's the same story because the uh, it's a small temple, so the walls here are only one block thick. Uh, if they were thicker, we could probably have uh, different materials on the inside. All right, uh, next phase here, of course, we're extending our columns up, like I said, and uh, you want to make this pattern here with these stairs and half slabs and just a couple of blocks of dye right behind that there to uh, decorate our entranceway, make it a little bit more special. And of course, on the side here, you're doing the same thing again with the diorite, the cobble, and the stone bricks, like you see done here. Uh, inside, same deal. You want to copy um, the uh, exterior pediment detail on the uh, inside, right here over the doorway. And uh, back here at this level, we are forming an archway, like I said, along here. So we wanted to start doing that with just two blocks of uh, dye right there, right beside those columns. All right, next phase. We are putting on our Corinthian capitals now for our columns. And, of course, to represent our acanthus leaves, we are using upside-down cobblestone stairs and then stone bricks. Four of each of those types, upside-down, stacked on top of each other. You want to do that for all your freestanding columns, and then uh, three times for all your attached pilasters along your wall here. In other words, you want to have the wall overwrite the column. Like you see done here, they're just stuck on to the side of the building for decoration. You might think that's a modern thing, but no, the, the Romans invented that too. Uh, on the inside here, of course, we have our finished pediment with just uh, these half slabs there. And of course, our Corinthian columns here and our now finished archway here. Just a little small archway here at the back inside our cella or our temple. Uh, next phase, we're now building our entablature, and we are going to be doing that by putting a, a just a big rectangle of uh, cobble and then another rectangle of diorite stacked on top of that all the way around the rectangle of your building. You want to have this on top of all your columns right there, like you see done here. Really easy to do. Uh, on the underside, though, we want to uh, have these little square patterns. We want to extend the cobblestone lintels to interface with the wall here for structural reasons. And on top of that, we want to have uh, just uh, some uh, blocks of diorite up there with a little square cut out for some decoration. And you can hide some torches up here for lighting if you so choose to do as well. Uh, on the inside, you want to do the same deal. Uh, except uh, you will notice the, the walls are now thickening up. We've got uh, three blocks thick here for those details over the doorway. And, of course, it goes directly across the arch at here at the back. Like that there. All right, uh, next phase. So now we're putting on our uh, cornice for our entablature, and we're just doing that with some upside down stone brick stairs in a big rectangle all around the building, like you see being done here. Above this, you will notice we're starting to put on the uh, pediment for our triangular roof here at the front, and we are doing this with uh, full blocks and half slabs. We're going to have the full block there, but then we're going to have uh, the uh, half slabs 
right there. Two of those stacked on top of each other. Uh, here along the side, we want to have on top of our stairs cobblestone slabs. But at the front here, we want to have uh, them in the middle. But on the sides, we want to have a little bit more cobble, as you see here, and diorite behind that there. Uh, along the side, we're now using our roofing materials. We're using the red nether brick and the deep slate tile slabs here for our roof tiles. And it's just a very simple alternating pattern like you see here. Like so. And of course, the, the pediment at the back is exactly the same as what you made at the front. Uh, in the middle here, however, we have our ceiling for our temple. So on the inside, we want to have upside down stone brick stairs, big rectangle of those. And in the middle, do you want to uh, just make the uh, the dial right into this pattern here? All right. The next phase, we're building a bit more of our roof now. We have a lot more of the uh, triangular pediment constructed here. You can see we've got uh, the the full blocks here, and then we got the uh, the half slabs like that there. That's going up uh, uh, every time it goes over a block, it goes up a half slab. Like you see done here, that's the slope of the roof. Behind this, we want to have these uh, uh, cobblestone blocks just overhang, just a, a, a half slab down here for this. And uh, there's an optional torch here if you want to have some lighting for that as well. And die right behind the entire thing there. Uh, on the side here, as you can see, we have a simple repeating pattern. For the roof tiles, we're just alternating where we're putting the uh, uh, red nether brick and the deep slate tiles. In between these, we do have a couple of uh, roofing uh, ri uh, rib, uh, rib details, materials for that. Um, on the sides, though, we do have a couple of blocks of diorite, which are serving as uh, acroterions, uh, which at this scale, they're, they're very small, but these are uh, designed to be uh, sculptural details on the edge of uh, Greek temples, but as I said, we've really only got like two blocks here, so there's there's uh, nothing we can do with that except place them there. Uh, on the inside, I think all we do is we just uh, roof over the uh, ceiling up here with a uh, cobble. And the roof um, behind the roof tiles is entirely filled with cobble, by the way. Let me just... Uh, uh, knock knock off some of that so you so you can see back here. It's just uh, fill fill all of that in with cobble Like you see done there. No need to get fancy with the roof of the Temple this small and here we have now the completed pediment. You can see it meets at a, a point up here With the stone bricks and the cobble and everything on top of this we have this little section Where we want to use a couple uh, more blocks of diorite like that there to make the, that little acroterion, we have a couple of more blocks so we can make it a little more decorative. And behind that, we just have a central roof ridge of uh, cobble and cobble slabs, like you see being done here. All right, so uh, once you have done that and finished off your decorations on the top, your small Roman temple will be complete. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for the small Roman temple. This is going to be a series of small temples that I'm going to be producing for you for the people that uh, um, need a break from doing all of the mega builds that I generally do. I'm going to try and produce some small content for you in the way of making these little these little small temples here. We had, we've got uh, at least two more designs of these that I'm going to be putting out fairly shortly. They're sort of uh, bite-sized Roman temples, as it were, uh, just big enough for you to sprinkle all over your world. If you say, if you find a little picturesque location and you're like, I would really like to build a little temple there, well, now you have a design that you can place there. And it would also be good for perhaps a, a starter base somewhere as well, if, if you need one. Uh, but I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.